what are the lifestyle changes that make fit and healthy people successful? Because a lot of times people try to do a program, they see some progress, then they just stall out and stop. Mm -hmm. And they gain the weight back. Like, why is that? A lot of people try and go way too hard, way too fast. They try and make too many changes at a time and they try and be 100% on all of them. If you reel it back in a little bit, and you go 80% on and focus only on a few aspects of fitness. First question they should ask is, if it's not sustainable, should I do it? The answer is no. If it's not sustainable, do not do it. If I can't work out you know, six days a week at 5 a.m. before work for the long run, I can't see myself doing this for years and years, just don't do it, right? Do something that you can't sustain. Mm -hmm. If you wanna do you know, three, three days a week after work or you wanna walk after work, that's something you can do, just do that. So start seeing progress just by doing that instead of you know, go on and go, got to fast cardio and I meal prep every meal and I'm gonna spend all Sunday cooking and it just doesn't work. Make small wins over a long enough time horizon, you're gonna see progress. I think people gotta set their expectations too. Cause I think everyone gets, you know, disappointed when, you know, they don't have a six pack in a month or this program didn't get them twice as strong as, as you know, what, what, what was promised. What's well, a problem too? Cause like, I mean, fitness influencers sell that. Yeah. Like, you know, the, movie star I bought or the uh, you know get a six pack in you know 30 days type thing because that's mm -hmm. what sells so it's it's an issue with the fitness industry as a whole too mm -hmm. which hopefully when people get smarter they understand that, okay that's a lot of bs yeah. right second question so why do people gain the weight back usually after they see progress when they start a, wor a workout journey back to what you said earlier it's not sustainable they do something super aggressive that gets them to their goal and they realize they can't maintain it so as soon as they do the opposite of what they were doing, it just, they just automatically bounce back. I think that's true. No one ever talks about the diet after the diet, which is reversing out of it. Everyone just goes back to what they were doing before. And even if they have no intention to go back to what they were doing before. A lot of people don't know the steps that you have to take, how to adjust your calories going forward. They just know, you know, calorie deficit, it got me here. I should just, you know, go right back to maintenance calories and I should be fine doesn't really work that way. You have to adjust to the habits just as well uh, going up in calories as you did going down. Um, and people gain weight really, really quickly because your body gets really, really efficient at storing body fat, but you're not giving it the calories to store it. So as soon as you start giving it those calories, it's still efficient at it. Now it's you're giving it the calories to put on that body fat. So that's why body fat just ramps up twice as fast coming out of a deficit, going back to your old ways.